Hello, very good evening to you. We're going to begin tonight with the conflict in the Middle East. Saturday's terror attacks in Israel have led to an all-out war in the region, and at least three high-profile athletes with Arkansas ties were there to see it. Among them was Dusty Hannes, a Little Rock native and graduate of Pulaski Academy and the University of Arkansas. Tonight, his father tells Channel 7's Desmond Nugent about his son's experience and how he made it out of Israel safely. Desmond. Chris, Joe Hannes tells me he's been trying to stay busy around the house ever since he got the call from his son about the bombing. With the entire world watching the carnage taking place in Israel, here in Arkansas, one Razorback family was concerned about their son, Dusty Hannes. He's been playing pro basketball in Israel for two months. He told me, uh, Dad, they're getting us out of here. I, I can't talk now in a text but I'll call you when I'm safe. Gerald says late Friday night, Dusty called them around the time the bombings were happening. He says they kept their minds busy around the house until they heard back. Dusty was safely in Athens, Greece. I knew the coach was uh, going to take care of Dusty and the people of Israel were going to take care of Dusty, the Americans and their country. Dusty wasn't the only Razorback in Israel. Justin Smith and Jalen Tate were not able to escape. Gerald says he has the faith those players will make it out safely. I saw that he put something out. You know, I can add to my life escaping a war. And, uh, you know, so he just looks at it, you know, like it's a gift of God that he's okay. And I know he's praying for his teammates that are over there and the Arkansas players that are still over there. And Gerald says he's not sure if or when Dusty will return to Israel. Gerald tells me he did speak with his son this morning and assures everyone he's doing fine. On your side, Desmond Nugent. Okay, Desmond, thank you so much.